Welcome to Double Funnel TV. We're here. We're here. I was not trying pixel. to think of something. Not pixel. <laughs> pixel. Um, you had a busy day yesterday. I did. It was a crazy day. Today is busy as well. I, I speak uh, to a big group at uh, 1130 or something like that. So. Oh, wow. And then go to another mastermind and busy days, busy, busy, busy. It's good. Fun things going on. Lots of exciting things going on. Exciting is good. Exciting is good. Um, we're completely off track. I think we did. We started with limos on Monday and we did an absolute for relay that on, on Tuesday. Tuesday. Right. And what did you, you did yesterday? yesterday? I didn't do anything yesterday. Oh, okay. I caught up on work. Wow, there's a novel concept. I know. I still need to send follow-up emails because I am terrible at follow-up. Well, wouldn't that be great if you could automate all that? Mm. It's the piece that I can automate pieces of it. It's the automation, the, the parts that cannot be automated. It's the deal closed. All I got to do is send one email. I see. Uh, that's all my, all me. Things okay. you should hire out. If you have a known terrible spot, that's the first person you should hire. That's the, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, everyone like in the different business groups, in our membership group, in marketing groups, basically every entrepreneur business owner group on the planet, that seems to be always the first question as they're building is it's just me and a partner or just me. Who's the first person I should hire? What do you suck at? That person. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Well, you know, I mean, that's the, the, the biggest point is what are you really good at and what do you hate? And hate is another one. Anything you hate, anything that you're, you know, that just isn't you. The, the, uh, somebody was sharing why why do you spend so much time learning all this stuff? I said I, I spend time learning all this stuff not so that I can do it myself, but I can audit those who are doing it with me and for me. So I because I can be more efficient at help if if I know the tools alongside them, mm -hmm. then I can and it's not audit from the some people might take that as a negative. It's really yeah. not. It's for, it's yeah. a, I can work alongside you and go, oh, well, if we did this, would that, you know, one of those kind of things. So. No, definitely. Um, and today, since we've already ventured off track, um, and next week, I am out completely Monday through Wednesday as a heads up. Awesome. Being the beautiful San Diego at traffic and conversion. That'll be <sighs> fun. Richard Branson, is that his name? Yeah, Richard Branson's going to be there. I heard that uh, from Jay another Shetty. friend, actually. Um, they actually, I know they sold it. I think he still has a little bit. Um, they have some stay in content, a little ownership still, but. Who's um, that? Um, tra uh, digital marketer and. Ryan Dice and the little group there that had it and built it. Um, but since they sold it, like it's not sticking to the digital marketer community anymore. So they're bringing in Sir Richard Branson. That's They've right. They've got um, that investor, Dean. Dean Graciolo. Graciolo. Uh, I know they have Daniel Harmon, but I mean, he's a big marketer. He did like the ads where it's like the unicorn pooping and the purple egg mattress and all the funny ones that we saw on the internet. Um, Sally Hogshead, Benton Crane from Harmon Brothers as well. Rachel Hollis. Um, oh, Jay Shetty was the other big name for one too. I nice. felt like he kind of came on board and just kind of like blew everyone away. I think Frank Kern is speaking. I'm actually surprised he hasn't been on stage before up there recently. Um, so nice little lineup, right? That'd be a great lineup. Um, it will. I know. Actually, I was talking to somebody the other day, and they were uh, saying they were going to be out there. So, yeah, very so exciting. I got to go out there for two weeks. Some of our partners. So today, 
since we're already off track and we're going to stay off track next week. All right. So um, what track are we going on then? We're still staying on doubling funnels because, okay. you know, focus. No, I know that. Okay. Um, but one of the ways that's easy to take if you, so you're a speaker, speaker trainer. Yes. Um, that would be true. One of the true. tools that was not available even just 10 years ago was the ability to do webinars. So you could take this amazing speech you, do, you did and project it out. So now we kind of do it with Facebook Live and there's the big debate, will Facebook Live replace the webinar? And in some ways I'm like, there's a lot of things that it has replaced, right? Like think about the easy stuff right here, right? But yeah. you know what Facebook Live does not generate? A list oh. of leads. <laughs> well, it doesn't. It doesn't generate a lot, actually. I mean, uh, it, it is. It is great training ground, in my opinion. Um, I mean, like I a think, podcast. Yeah, I mean, I think there are a lot of things that it does really well. And it shares easy. It what? It shares easy. Yeah, it shares easy. But but that's about the. Um, you know, a lot of the stuff is, is actually much harder. You can't share screens. I mean, not very yeah, easily. You can't, you can't bring in guests. You, the, you know, so there, it's a great starting platform. I think but they have not perfected it into... Why do you think why do you think we're on B Live? Because Facebook Live didn't offer, you know, for the longest time didn't offer this capability, right? The the shared mm -hmm. shared screen capability. And then but now even B Live is you know, the fact that I can't share a screen. Yeah. You can, but I can't. You know, the the lack of There's dual control. You know, I mean, it, I think it goes all the way back. It's funny because I, I actually had this conversation with somebody last week. You know, we started with Skype. Yep. If you think about it, we started with Skype video. And it was like so cool to be able to talk to somebody across the world and see them. And then to try to do a presentation on it was just cumbersome. And I swear they... To, I mean, all these other tools came on board and took the limitations of one and then became better. And then the next one took the limitations of the two and became better. And, you know, it keeps on kind of going that way. They feed uh, off of each other. Yeah, they feed off of each other. Um, but again, whether it be be live or Zoom or... Um, you know whom it whom it might be, right? But even you know this annoying. I can't share a screen. You've got to. I've got to send it to you so that you can share it because you're in control of the of the cast. You know, like Zoom, you can kind of give handoff sharing ability back and forth, right? Yep. And no, um, and um. I pulled some up so like you can see this is Facebook. I get why Facebook Live direct from Facebook is a little short, right? Like <clears throat> Facebook itself has a purpose and it needs to make it as easy as humanly possible for the lowest level possible, right? And the people who are using Be Live and needing to share screens and all this other stuff, that's business, right? right. Let, let the APIs and the other people build something for you so you as Facebook can focus on your core competency, right? Right. So that's definitely like when it when it comes to be live, doing the solo, like the capability if somebody comments that we can just hop on over really quick and I can throw that up, that's really cool. Right. right. And you know, some of the, the webinar tools don't do that. I can't take someone's chat and pop it on over. I think I can take a chat feed on some of them. And you can just see the feed, but sometimes the feed goes. I kind of like want to tell somebody just comment real quick <laughs> so I can show the feature. Um, but it's quick, right? We can hop on. I can literally turn be live on from my phone, and you can be you can be on your phone. I think I have to be on the computer, 
but I can be at traffic and conversion, jump on be live and we have some more features. Like right now I have doublefunnel.tv on. Um, we could put um, a lead magnet on there if we wanted to, which double funnel TV kind of is. Um, but there's different things that you can do to draw attention to your lead magnet. It's about traffic. This is a shareable. Um, the right. other option is actually Zoom. Zoom offers, let's see if I can find um, video webinars. I don't know if it's meetings and chat or video and webinars. So Zoom has actually added the capability to do Facebook Live and they can do webinars now too. So if you are looking to do a webinar or you're you know, looking to do one more like on a Facebook Live, I believe it has the capability um, to do both. Let's see, let's video webinars like at the same time, which I think would be amazing, except you still skip the lead, like the actual email address. Um, monetize. So like this is a big one that um, Webinar Jam, every webinar did first is the actual ability to have something paid immediately. Right. Put your brand, expand audio. So I thought they had an option. I bet I'm just missing it, but they have an option to go do Facebook Live. Um, and I believe they offer the capability for like you to share a screen. Yes. But Be Live is like 25 a month. Zoom is a paid Zoom account. I think it's like $20 a month. Plus yeah, $14.99. It depends on depends on where you're going. You know, you can get a free Zoom account. You can get a which gives you, yes, fourteen ninety nine. And then, if you really want, you can go Zoom webinar. Uh, and I think and you're it, limited to a hundred attendees. It's um, starting at forty dollars. Yeah. Um, but I believe if you add the live. That's a separate fee. So you can pay for the $40 for the webinar service. Um, ooh, is this down here, Modern Cloud, Zoom Voice? I thought they had a Facebook Live version. They definitely have that, but they're limited to 100. And there's still a lot of limitations as far as what you can do versus, right. oops, I closed out the sales win window web in or, um, you know, Webinar Jam, they took what GoToMeeting was doing, like you said, they made it better. Let me pause his video. Right. Um, the nice part is so much of this is so many metrics. Like you get the email address, which is critical, right? They, uh, these are, it's run by marketing people, so they understand what your need was. Right. You've got live chat. You can share screen. You can even pre-record something. So Make let's say there's live. Well, and... It gives you the chance, like there's some people that really hate it and whatever, but especially if there's a certain section that is just done better, where you can put your head down and read some notes at the same time as give like the educational portion. And at the same time, like, you know, in your webinar, in the, while you're doing it, be asking questions. And at that point over here in the live chat and the Q and A, you can be answering the questions live over there too. There's lots of different ways you can do it. And you can intermix them, right? It can be live, pre-recorded, live, pre-recorded, live, pre-recorded. And as long as you watch your audio, you should be good, right? Um, and there's all sorts of things like people are like, oh, you know, I don't think my mic's working. <clears throat> and they mess with it and they're like, oh, let's just go to the slides. And then their voice changes and like, oh, look, that worked. They're like, yeah, we know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> um, one of the reasons I prefer to do webinars with webinar jam and if you're gonna do something where you're looking to actually put this as part of your funnel <clears throat> as I lose my voice and this is why you might pre-record something seriously mm -hmm. um, because it gets tiring to use your voice all day every day and the ability to switch you know save your voice for the parts that are needed um, but webinar jam was made for marketing so if you're gonna actually use it as a subscribe stage phase and the convert phase. So you're signing them up for the webinar subscribe stage, getting them actually to attend because that's always the hard part of any event, right? Whether it be our member networking meeting on Tuesday, if we're holding a paid event like on the weekends or you know, I guess we can do it weekdays too. Um, any event, it's always about getting people to show up. So those are two different sections. 
And then while you're doing it, Webinar Jam makes it super easy to do whatever you want. You can play live video. So another thing that Zoom does not do well, oh, look at Rand, she knows, Be Live is for everyone or just marketers? Oh, Be Live is for everyone. It just tends to be the only people who want to pay for it are marketers and business owners. Yeah, I'd agree you know, with that. Why, why would Mary Jane, who just works as an HR professional, want to pay for Be Live, right? Hop on Facebook and make that work. Um, definitely business owners too. Um, it's just more like for when you're doing like podcasts, like kind of what we're doing here. Um, think about yeah. it like a podcast. Make sure your audio is good. You know, do the best you can with the visual. Luckily, it's only me that gets pixelated, not my whole screen. Um, yeah, definitely business owners. I wish miss, more business owners took it to that next step, even if it was only for five, ten minutes a day. Like you would literally write your book by putting together an outline and then an outline for each one of the speak chapters it to and speak it. Hand them to an editor and your be live every morning on Facebook was you dictating your book. Two birds, one stone. My favorite. Um, the really cool aspect though for webinar jam, so I, I feel like be live, Facebook live, that is more like your podcast. That is the open broadcast, free for everyone, building promoters, building awareness, spreadability, uh, spreadability, building your personal brand, giving you a platform to build partnerships, right? Like the ability to go and like get a partner, um, and that's what I think that's going to be my goal while I'm at Traffic and Conversion is I want to bring partners on to be live. And there's a little screen over here where if I have three, I can put three on one side and our screen on the other. So the screen will be a little bigger and there'll be three talking heads. Perfect. Uh, so we'll have some interest and that's a great way to build partnerships. But if you want leads, you need a lead machine. <clears throat> that is what Webinar Jam is all about. They are built by marketers. Right. And this is not just for marketers. It is for business owners. And Rayanne, when you come to the office, um, Rayanne's one of our members. She's live right now. Um, she's already got her membership site down. I want to help her build a webinar and a live event so that she can you know, leverage what she has and start building her membership. So that was another reason I wanted to do this. So I'm going to go ahead, since we're 20 minutes in, um, I already own Webinar Jam and then the even better version ever webinar, which is another reason to use Webinar Jam that I won't cover. But let's build one and I want to show everyone how easy it is because any business owner can do it. Um, what questions do you have? Have you ever used Webinar Jam? It's so funny. Before you pulled it up, I was pulling it up. So, oh, yeah, I <laughs> yeah, uh, definitely use Webinar Jam. Um, Again, need to use it more. the The beauty of ever webinar is being able to take and create a webinar that is now what is called evergreen. For those mm -hmm. who don't know what evergreen it's is, already it's, recorded. It's already recorded, yeah. and it stays and stays uh, and can be utilized forever. So mm -hmm. the the beauty of that is there are settings within here, and I'm sure you'll get to them as we go but that you can actually take and re do Jenna and I could be doing a webinar live today. Take that and, and just say, yeah, well, boy, we nailed it. And then put it back into the ever, uh, ever webinar system that now takes it and uh, you now promote it as if it is coming up a day from now, an hour from now, three days from now, whatever, and somebody clicks it, and in essence, what it does is it goes back and plays the webinar you just recorded uh, as if it's live. And so think about what, I'm, what my uh, speaking mentor taught, taught us is perfect a presentation and do it again, and again, and again, and again, right? Yep. And in the beauty of this is you can literally work to perfect a presentation, perfect a webinar, 
And when you've got one that really works or you just really nailed it, some days you're better than others, just oh, yeah, the way it definitely. works, right? You've got more energy or you're more clever or all of a sudden you say something you've never said before that just really hits home. And so people respond to it in a new and better way. And that is the, instead of trying to do that them. again, you can calculate that. Like all yeah. those metrics, yeah. you know, when people came in and people dropped off. And so what I've never done is done the exact same webinar over and over and over and over again. So for the next month, once a week, I'm going to do the same webinar over and over and over again. And that's all I'm promoting for one month. Yeah. It doesn't have to be forever. But if you do it four times and you heavily promote it, you put Facebook ads behind it, you put some LinkedIn generation behind it, you go out and you reach out to your Facebook audiences and your email list about it, and you drive every piece of traffic for one month, you kill yourself to drive traffic to this webinar, and you test it, and you test it, and you test it, and that last one is probably going to kill it. And it's amazing to me, one of our clients, you know, I was never worried about his webinar. Like, that was his thing. He, he, you know, he was supposedly pretty good on it. I was more worried about his outreach. Right. And so he messaged me one day and he was like, you know, I like increased our, our conversions by 50% on this webinar and I only changed one thing. And I'm like, oh my God, what was it? Like what increased it so well, so much compared to all the other webinars you did? I added testimonials. Yeah. And a part of me was just like floored. I was like, wait, you didn't have those before? <laughs> God, I was just a little bit surprised, but it's those little well, things that you tweak that you can it, add now to you know, everything in the future. It's a That's a great point. But uh, again, one of my other mentors taught me uh, something to stop beating yourself up over. And that is, I did the best I could with what I knew at the time. Now I know more. Now I can do better. Yep. And and so the, the point is, I don't think anybody inherently goes out to not do the best they can possibly do. They yep. they do go out to do the best they can possibly do. But in doing such, um, they find out new things. I do. And, um, I mean, every time I test something, you know, we started testing travel savings passports, and, you know, in a different setting over the last few weeks. Well, I, I tested it down in Houston and we ended up closing 70% of the room, took advantage of the offer that was made. Now, anybody who understands that part of the presentation business, that kind of close rate is astronomical. I mean, it's it's huge. You know, if you can get 10 to 15%, typically it's all, you know, you're doing okay. And we did 70%. Well, what did we do? We added a premium. We added value to our offer and it proved out to work. So the following weekend, we used the same concept now with a higher price point of the offer. And we closed 40% of the room at 10 times, think of this, 10 times the offer price. And we still close 40% of the room. Wow. So you start to understand that when you learn how to take these techniques, these processes and whatever, and, and obviously the only people we want to take advantage of those offers are people who will benefit from those offers. But the win -win. point is, yeah, in win-win situations. But the point is we're, we're constantly testing and tweaking and, and whatever. Mm -hmm. So my day yesterday was really now people have seen this in, in action. And all, all yesterday was a series of meetings of people going, we want to do that. Can we do that? Boy, that makes it a whole heck of a lot easier when you sit there and go, yeah, you can. How much presentation do you have to do? <laughs> what people want, what you have, right? Right. And, and so now you just take and, and you you say yes, and then you work on how you're going to implement for them. So again, it's the selling and marketing and all of this, whether you think it's about testing or not, 
everything's about testing. What works, what doesn't, what we do well, what could we do better? How do we, you know, it's not necessarily about beating the heck out of yourself all the time, yeah. but it's and, su success. Yeah. You know, there's a reason why there's the old axiom success leaves clues. Oh yeah. And the reason um, and is because have, success leaves clues. Rayanne mentioned that she's watching Steve Dodo with the Dodo tech for several years and his team uses webinar jam, but they've also previewed other systems. Absolutely. Um, most of these systems will offer some kind of a free trial, um, or if you go through one of their affiliates, the affiliate has a link that will include a free trial. Right. Definitely try out the systems, right? And if you've never done any of these before, start out with the one that's easiest for you. Like just pick up your camera and turn right. on Facebook Live, right? Um, upgrade to be live, try out Zoom, and, you know, and understand your needs. Like if you have no need to ever display slides, you don't need Zoom or Be Live. You might be able to get away with right. just Facebook Live. If you, I, I think it's fascinating. I think it's fascinating when people are saying, there, well, I don't want to do Facebook Live. I don't like the way I look on camera." The, what? Ti hold on, time out. The, this is only going to, you know, I mean, this is called face-to-face -face communication, right? That means that you don't like talking to people because it's the exact same thing. People go, "Well, I don't like the way I look on camera." Uh, note to self, that's how you look on camera. I mean, the, the cameras tell the truth. So <laughs> it just is what it is. So I'm over here on Webinar Jam, and it's kind of nice because now I know that you've used this so you can speak to it. And if you mm -hmm. don't mind, I think it'd be really cool if you could do um, – so you've spoken on stage, you've sold a tremendous amount, like millions. I can't uh -huh. remember what you're, there's like over 20 million from the stage. Mm -hmm. What are, like if you were going to outline the perfect sales presentation or you know educational with a pitch or however it is you recommend doing it, if we can talk about that tomorrow, that would be awesome. Sure. Um, and then you have two options when you build a webinar and this makes me super happy. Express, where it does the legwork for you, <laughs> and full configuration. And what I love is they tell you how long it takes. Ready in less than 60 seconds, and takes about 10 minutes. I'm actually gonna do full, because I know what I'm doing. Um, and, I do have And I don't know that it even things. takes 10 minutes when you, you Well, know, yeah, I once mean, you get to it. So yeah. Some of the hard part where I feel like you're gonna get stuck is like your title. So I know in our membership and with a digital marketer, we have like little bullet point templates that make it easy on building these headlines. How to, always a great start, how to get a benefit with what you're doing, right? So how, and then the, the other one that I've inserted here, because I like to Frankenstein my headlines, how to easily. So I'm saying here's an easy button, fast and easy. And I've included both in one headline, I'll show you here. How to easily build 365 social media posts. That's what I'm going to actually teach you how to do um, in one day. So fast, right? With zero design skills um, to increase leads or increase sales. Increase sales. Nobody wants leads. They want sales. They want money. I feel like I must be over 70 characters. It's going to yell at me. It might. Character count. Can't spell character count either. Letter count. There's a whole domain for that. That's crazy. Count count. 200. Oh, I, I did it twice. That's why. That still means it's over. We'll still cut it in half. Um, so which one do you think is more enticing? To, I'm going to say increase leads. Sales. I know, but that's not what social media posts do. So let me go with leads. I think I'm still over. Actually, we'll just cut off the back. We'll discuss the other one in the page. So we have how to easily build. And I'm going to go ahead and this is my actual title. People will see. Yep. Um, this over here is my name for me. And I'm going to put a shortened version with try number one. Webinar description. This is where I always like, I never want to describe it. Um, max 150 characters. So this is the little piece. Increase um, authority. Uh, what is the ones that I go through? 
what I'm going to cheat. Info, social. Here we go. We're actually my cell page. Increase leads. I'll just take it right here. Increase leads. <laughs> I did hey, it in 40. No, I sorry. I did it in 44 characters. I just created the title to the webinar that I'm going to produce later. Not today. Uh, Today's still a busy day, but. So increase leads, establish your brand, and engage audience. Increase authority. So let me put, I have already increased over here, leads, authority, and influence. Establish your brand and engage audience. while kickstarting SEO. Okay, let's see if I've gone over my, before it yells at me, it'll yell at me, but I don't want to be yelled at. Yeah, that's never fun. Exactly, it's the exact same as the one before it, so that's good. Webinars on demand, portal is a public directory, we're all so it's basically asking me, do I want to list it on the portal? I've never found this to be helpful, but it doesn't bother me to add it because right. that can only increase your leads, right? Why wouldn't you want to do that? Right. All right. One of these pictures that we built. I think this that was, one was built in Disney or in really that? Uh, you know what? I'm just not even going to do, do it right now because I need a special image, so I'm going to ignore that. Um, right now I have one presenter. Me. Wait, it's already got me. So this is adding another one. Let me edit me. Got an app guard, email, webinar yep. host, brief bio, webinar hostess. With the hostess. Um, presenter and so one of these webinars I'm not sure which one I have to run it by but we will actually have save cancel saving I'm wondering if it's just saving hmm oh let me add a picture that might have been what was working uh, da, 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 da. This is why it's nice to have a small file of all your typically used brand images. Right. Why is it not saving? Oh, confirm. Wait, I don't think that did it, did it? It is not saving. This makes me sad. All right, done for you, concentrating videos. No, I want this far to go away. That is really weird, but you know what? I am not going to stress about that. Configure the webinar provider. Webinar Jam Live. This is interesting. So they have actually, and I, this is, I believe, an additional charge, or maybe it was been grandfathered in for me. But you can do YouTube Live from Webinar Jam and Facebook Live. Oh yeah, no, it, that's that's there now. Those um, are just added. Those are additions into the platform. That's where they're making running changes too. Ah, you must select. Two new streaming channels. Connect with your social media audience. Two new, I didn't. All right, I don't need that. Cancel. It's not gonna let me go because I have not picked one, but it's not letting me select one. I'm not picking a live version though. I'm trying to see. Sign in with Google. 
Oh, you know what? I need to be on this one. Yes. And then I'm going to pick my business one, Warfare Marketing. Authorize it. All right, so that's the, I am kept on thinking webinar, but you do have to select YouTube because that is where it's literally putting your video at, as you use it, and that's how it leverages it to build every webinar. Um, so you will have to connect that. Confirm it. Okay, so we are all green. They make it nice and easy. I'm getting a red line there. Am I still too long? How to, there we go. So now I'm not too long. So I wish it gave me a warning and told me what's wrong, but yeah. it's what it is, right? Schedules, this is a big one. I don't want to do it right now. Well, anybody, Why? I guess if you were doing it like we're doing now, maybe. Um, I guess I should look at my calendar, right? I know I want to do it before I leave for TNC, my first one. Right. So I'm gonna Saturday. Um, and then I, if you're somebody watching a webinar on a Saturday, what time do you want it to be, earlier or later? Well, I think I think people have time early, but I don't think people want to learn early. <laughs> I think they want to. Lunch? Mm, no, I would put it more in a, it's a, I think you could test this out 437 different ways and not get a great answer. Um, I don't know that there's a, a perfect time, you know, because of time zones and because of different things. I think you just got to kind of set it and, and do it. I'm going to go for 2 p.m. I would say 2. I mean, that's what I would have said. I think we've skipped over brunch for everyone who's hungover. Um, if you have a family, you you put in your family time and, you know, mom's not going to worry you're taking a break or dad's not going to worry you're taking a break. Right. And that works for me. Select time zone. I am central. I'm going to add that to my list. Um, but right now, I'm not going to add any more. So I am actually going to come back and add more times. But when I send out the notice to go to this landing page. Thank you, Ray. Today, for the first, second ones, I only want them to know about one day. It's hard exactly. to get people one time, right? So I'm going to go ahead and confirm this. They're all about confirming on Webinar Jam. Registration page and process. This is a big one, and I feel like this is where it gets stuck. So on here, and by working with some tech companies as their marketer, I've actually learned some stuff about this. It has the conversion right here down in the corner. So here's a couple things. A, this cannot be in real time. So this is something that the guys at Webinar Jam may have looked at their own stats or other people's stats and see which pages get so many hits and which ones convert. But just because one page converts higher than another, like it used to be this page was very high converting out, it's down to 18. Um, this one's at 28, this is the one that's been selected. Here's the trick though. What if um, Tony Robbins used a page, right? Let's say he used this one down here at 28. I could use the exact same page with the exact same layout, but my name's not Tony Robbins. My picture doesn't look like it's Tony. Not. I don't have a global audience that's like in right. millions, right? His conversion rate is automatically gonna be exceptionally more than mine, and he has a massive list to send, right? Yep. That are like raving fans. What was it Sean said? Like you need two 2,000 raving fans? 1,000. Um, how much? 1,000. 1,000. So he's got that already. Yeah. I don't. So don't worry about these conversion rates. It really comes down to what can you get up in the time limit you have? What is going to be mobile friendly? Like these ones, I think these are too dark. I don't like, they're like, oh, it's got a high conversion rate. Eh. Stick with the one that's easy that works for you. I'm a big fan of these simple ones like this. Everybody knows what it is. You're not tricking anybody. Give them the information they need and move on. So, what else did Rayanne? The ability to replay a webinar is huge. Oh yeah, and then that's the other thing with like a webinar jam is it's very easy to do a replay. Um, site preview, open preview. So this is what it looks like. User image goes here. Um, I like that it's super simple. 
but it is definitely not super engaging. Yeah. Uh, I agree with that. I don't know about that. I think I would prefer something a little bit more visual. This is the other one. Generating. I think, I think for the topic, you need to be more visual because, you know, I mean, it's a, you know, you're creating 365 uh, social media posts, right? Yep. And all of these can and be so the, edited. Yeah, but I'm just saying, yeah, no, exactly. They can be customized. You can change colors. You can put some pictures behind it. You can, you can change formats. You can do a variety of different things. But I'm just saying for your topic, mm -hmm. I think it, it behooves itself to be a little more visual. All right. I think I've used this one. I'm a fan. Yeah. I'm going to open it. You can see if I open my page all the way up. I've got a picture on the side. If I'm short, it keeps it. Here's the thing that counts the most and then goes into the images. All right. So let's pick this one. That's the preview. I'm going to go ahead and customize this one. Um, I can change that out. I'm not going to worry about it right now because it is a free webinar. It already put my title in there, how to build 365 social media posts in one day with zero design skill. This is where I can come in here how to, and make my title bigger. How to easily build 300 social media posts in one day. Can I expand it? I can expand it. But what I think I can do. Zero design skills, font, size, oop. Skip it around. <laughs> I love technology. Yeah, those pages are actually pretty um, decent as far as being able to modify and do some things. I change color. I feel like I just want to hit the undo button. Ooh, it's a big font. Oh, not 72. Probably 48. Well, we're gonna leave it alone. How to easily build 365 social media posts in one day with zero design skills to increase sales leads. You just love I can't, leads. I can't because I cannot promise them sales. But you can't organic promise. I mean, if you want to get into that, you can't promise leads either. You can you can build because you could start a conversation and it does increase leads, but and you could even do sales, but sales becomes a lot more difficult. That becomes so the ones that I'm teaching them to do are evergreen. That way you constantly have a presence, even you know, if you get sick for a week or um you're not really yeah. doing much of that, but well to then it's increased customer engagement. If you want to get technical. And the only reason I wouldn't say that one is because people don't want that. People don't know that they need that. Does that make sense? Like you give them what they want first. I, and then teach them that's what they why the word is sales. <laughs> they don't want leads. <laughs> nobody, nobody wants what it is. They want what it does. They want the, to, they want their life to be easier. You're not wrong. Gosh, I think that was a left-handed way of saying I might even be right. I know. Increase sales, please. <laughs> influence. Influ. Did I misspell influence? <gasps> oh, in some, yeah, yeah. In some states, but here. Um, not edible. Register now. Um, well, let me edit the button. Save your seat now. Background color. I don't think red is good. I'm going to leave it yellow. I can customize it later. Um, I should probably put a picture here. Um, I don't want to do the pointing me because pointing me might be pointing in the wrong direction. Should, shouldn't be. Where is it going? 
Wow. I know. So if I open it up, it's great. It points in the right direction. Yep. However, you make it small, and we're now just random. All right, we're gonna go with it for now because it is a picture. Yep. All right. That is not editable, is it? Okay. Can editable. I... Editable. Yeah, you can put your picture in. So this is letting me edit it here. Yeah. Post this with the mostest. You know what that's from? You're gonna tell me. The mostest. No, I don't remember. I know it's from something. Don't recall. Sorry. From Goza. Sorry. What is the original phrase, hostess with the mostess? Squirrel. Uh, oh, wow. A musical? Yeah. I definitely didn't get it from a Broadway musical. <laughs> you don't think? I'm positive. Um, automatic. I can't customize my color. I guess I'll have to like guesstimate. All right, what did I do? I think I just deleted an image. Um, I don't see an undo button, man. Okay, before I do anything else, cancel and edit, save and exit. I'm gonna save it before I kill it anymore. Probably a good idea. Uh, but I'm somewhere, I thought I could add stuff. Action, reset, preview, save, cancel, save, and edit. Um, huh. I'm gonna worry about that later. Oh, that was random. Something just fell from my that wall. That was random? No, something fell from my wall. That's not good. I know, right? Um, marketing with, let me this one, go back over here. What we'll cover in this event. Oops. Well, it's nice that you can pull all that from the from the page. Oh, um, so but what I'm pulling is a little different because this is me doing it for people. So this is me giving people my all lead right. magnet one week of Facebook social plus done for them for free. But that's them not doing anything. Yeah. Oh, um, I got it. Okay. So in some ways, they work. In other ways, it's not going to work for this one. What we'll got cover it. in this event? Um, learn. Oops, no one wants to learn. This is the hard part to me for making a webinar or sales page. It's the copy that's like um, super enticing, but again, get it done. Um, so I would say the very last one, the inexpensive goals we use at make this easy easy as pie um, actually I'm gonna take out the word V I don't need the word V inexpensive tools we use that's good make this easy as pie um, I feel like that's just easy as pie has become our thing now. And you threw <laughs> a ton of pies at Ray Ann and Dagmar. Who was the and other the, one you threw a pie at? Um, the guy who was sitting in the uh, second row. I forget his uh, name. I'm not a member, so I don't remember him. Yeah. So that's one big one, the inexpensive X. You know what? I misspelled expensive and they don't have a correction tool for inexpensive. Doesn't seem right. Generate. How to generate a year's worth 
of content in one day. Um, I'm actually going to copy this. Brand even said good pot. Good pot. <laughs> <laughs> She also answered my question. That makes me the so happy. With the hostess, yeah. That's Call what Mar Well, that is funny if you think about that. Now that you, now that she said that, it's like, wow. That does make sense. You ever get those days where you feel old? <laughs> It's wild. Why organic Facebook? Organic social posting. Oh, let's go with Facebook. Let's be direct. Facebook post. Uh, why organic Facebook post are not dead? Or post is not posting is not dead. What do you years? want to say is not dead versus is important? Um, because there's so many people out there who are screaming organic Facebook is dead. You're not getting any organic reach. You don't worry about it. Do Facebook ads, do messenger this, do um, LinkedIn this, do LinkedIn that, whatever. But it doesn't change the fact that Facebook is the one with you know, 2 billion plus users and 1.8 active users, million active users. Yeah. I mean, I get it. I get it. But just, um, just ask you. What are those like, you know, your audience and knowing what they say on a regular basis. And the fact is it's not going to get the um, organic social views that they want the way it used to be when, you know, everyone's business posts were seen. It's just a different way. So I'm letting them know that I'm going to show them. And then here I'm going to talk about it. Um, actually, I'll do it here because I think it should be a, um, how to, I got to learn to leverage your post for high visibility easily and fast. All right, so I've got those in there, which makes it like, it's kind of like writing that book. Do the basic outline and then outline each one of the outlines, right? Um, Facebook post, don't get the organic reach they used to, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't post learn how to get the highest is ability and why it is still important. okay I can always perfect that later but I want to get it done right how to generate a year's worth of content in one day this is not a dream you can generate all of 2019's content tomorrow so we're doing it on a Saturday you can generate all of 2019's content tomorrow you can generate Quality, well branded, authority, authority post for all of 2019 tomorrow with no design skills. Um, You can generate quality, well-branded authority posts for all of 2019 tomorrow with no design skills necessary. Hopefully I spelled necessary right. I hear you typing. What are you working on over there? I'm, well, I'm maybe creating a webinar. I believe that. You got <laughs> lost two in a rabbit hole. 
No, um, I mean, yeah, I got excited, you know, because this is fun. You know, look at all the fun of doing this, right? Yep, you built a post. Now what? Learn the exact method we teach our clients to leverage each post for the highest visibility in less than five minutes a day. Inexpensive nice. we use to make this easy as pie. Good Tools pie. are key to the mission. We will show you the one tool you need to make this happen. I don't even know how much it costs. I know they have a lifetime deal because we reviewed them on Tuesday. So yeah. If you're watching it. Very true. For just $25. All right, and we are done. Okay, and that's it. All right, so we are done. I've got this selected. I'll work on customizing it better later. Registration form fills, we're gonna keep it easy. Name and email address. Confirm. Free to register. Password protection, no password needed, and that's not working. Oh, confirm. Gotta confirm everything. Confirm. <coughs> it's gonna be cool. Click through there, they got basic notifications. I've got active campaign when they register. This happens, why is it not working? All right, Ooh, I just noticed it is after 10. So I'm gonna finish this up. All right. Um, the rest of the stuff is easy and we'll get that up and running so you can, we can test it and give you the results next week. So. Sounds like we'll a plan. All right. right, tomorrow will be All fun. Right. Always is. Bye guys. Bye.